Hey guys, this is the Windows Kid. Before the video begins, I would like to apologize for the year-long drought in content. This, I own like six other YouTube channels. This being one of them that I do less work on. Which, obviously you can tell because it's been a year since the last video. But, I promise that... I promise that there will be more videos more often, but anyway, let's get on to it. Today, we're going to be installing Windows 2000 Professional in VirtualBox, and as always, you will need VirtualBox, WinRAR, which is, it's optional, but it's recommended. And of course you need the Windows 2000 Professional ISO and all three of those can be found in the description. So anyway, we're going to click new. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Windows 2000 Professional. Next, next, create. You can pick any of these. I just do VDI. Next, next. You can pick whatever storage. I'm just doing 4 gigabytes. Create. And now you want to go into settings. Storage. Click on this empty CD file. And find your Windows 2000 Professional ISO. And we're going to click start. At least I think we're going to try. There we go. It'll say starting virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and go into scaled mode. Enter. If this shows up, just press C. F8. Sometimes, normally, F8 won't agree. So sometimes you'll have to press Control and F8. Which is what I had to do. Press Enter. And format the partition using the NTFS system. Set up as copying files. This shouldn't take much longer. And then it'll say your computer will reboot in 15 seconds. I'm kind of impatient, so I'm going to restart it now. Do not press any key to boot from the CD. Then we'll start up Windows 2000 Professional. And then we'll go into the second part of the setup. Click next. Uh, please wait while setup detects and installs drivers such as your keyboard and mouse. This will take several minutes. Now, it says that during this time your screen may flicker for a few seconds. If that happens, nothing is wrong. It's completely normal. Here's the flickering. Once again, this is normal. 
Okay, now that we're on here, click next. I'm just going to type in my name, and here is the product key. I'm not going to show you, but I will leave a link in the description for the product key. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have the product key, um, I'm going to just call it Jack PC. You don't have to create an administrator password. Click next. Just your time. Next. Please wait while Windows installs networking components. I'm just doing typical settings, but you can do custom settings if you want. No, this computer is not on a network. Please wait while setup installs the components. This may take several minutes. Please wait while set up install start menu items. Okay, completing the Windows 2000 setup wizard. Click finish. And then it should restart. Um, do not press any key because we're not going to need the CD anyway. So I'm just going to remove the optical drive. Welcome to the network identification wizard. Next, finish, and then we should be signing on. Honestly, during that, usually before my videos, I'll do like a test run, and for some reason I always get that glitched sound. So, now you have Windows 2000 on your computer, Microsoft Windows 2000. Microsoft Windows 2000. And... You can, you can stop right here if you want. If you do not want to install guest editions, then feel free to exit this video. But it is, it is recommended for guest editions because it'll, it's kind of like the driver for VirtualBox. Click install. Continue. That message will show up a few times, so every time it does, click yes. That sound glitches as well. I'm gonna reboot now. Starting Windows. As you can see, we now have, I think it's 256 colors, I think that's what it's called. And now the Windows 2000 startup sound is normal, and the, and it fills up the screen, so, 
yeah, you now have Windows 2000 installed in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.